Jeremy here. Welcome to another episode of Do It on a Unicycle. Today we're going to answer the age-old question. What happens when you put water in a unicycle tube? Do it on a unicycle! I first got the idea to put water in my unicycle tube when I needed a way to make the unicycle heavier so I could ride it underwater without it having to put to the surface. So I bought a fluid transfer kit from Amazon hoping it would allow me to put water into my tube. Handy dandy pump. But I guess it's supposed to take water out and then put it in the tube. Let's give it a shot. However, this fluid transfer kit proved to be quite cheap and not very well put together. So even with the help of my wife, I couldn't get it to work. But, determined not to fail, I had another idea up my sleeve. Okay, so this pump's not working so well, so I got this foot pump. I'm gonna see if I can just submerge myself in the pool, stick that part out, and then just pump water out that way. Give that a shot. And while it was really difficult to pump water out of an air pump, and I probably ended up ruining this bike pump, it actually worked to fill my unicycle tube full of water. Can you hear the water sloshing? I think so. Here's the, the real Whoa. question. Is the unicycle gonna sink or float? Like a rock. Before I had put any water in the tube, I weighed myself with the unicycle, coming up to 180 pounds. All right, now let's go put some water in the then, tube. Then, after I put water in the tube, I weighed myself again, and I weighed 189 pounds, meaning that the water in the tube weighed just over nine pounds, which equates to about a gallon of water that fit into the tube. And to my surprise, the unicycle didn't really handle that much differently despite having eight pounds of water in the tube. If anything, the extra water almost made the unicycle feel a little bit more stable and allowed me to get around uh, riding one-footed actually a little bit uh, more easily. I was also worried that having the water in the tube may make the tube uh, pop easier, but after riding it down some stairs, I realized that the tube was just as strong with air in it as it was with water in it. Really, the only noticeable negative effect of having all that water in the tire was that it made it harder to jump upstairs. Obviously, since the unicycle weighed eight more pounds, which is harder to lift up. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Do It On A Unicycle. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Do it on a unicycle.